Do you see that? That is 35, 38 degrees inside the solar oven, 39 degrees, 40 degrees inside the solar oven. Okay. Today's big idea is thermal conductivity, which is the big science word for heat flow. What is heat flow? Heat flow is movement. Heat flow is the temperature changing. Heat energy flows until everything is the same temperature. That's equilibrium, meaning everything's equal. You already know about temperature, the measurement of heat energy. It goes up, we say it's hot. The temp goes down and it gets cold. Imagine this big glass bottle is a hot pack for your fingers. The water is heat energy. Here are 10 small cups, like your 10 little cold fingers. You hold the hot pack and your fingers get warm. The heat flows, or the energy moves, from the hot pack to your fingers. Your fingers feel warm because there's equilibrium. Uh-oh, the big glass is empty. There isn't any more water. No more heat energy. That's the same as if the hot pack didn't have any more heat energy. Soon, the heat from your little fingers will go out into the cold air again, because heat is always moving. So science starts with an observation. So let's see, what's colder? A metal toy or a wooden block? I have two things here. I have a metal block and a wood block. And now you tell me, what's colder? Touch it. Okay, touch the wood block too. Yeah? Just a little cold. Just a little cold? So what's colder? Metal. So they say metal is colder. So the metal block and the wood block were the same. Yeah. But what felt colder? Metal. metal. Yeah, a lot colder, right? Yeah. Here's what you saw. First, equilibrium. Both toys were the same temperature as the air outside. Our fingers were at a different temperature, and we felt it. Second, when two things touch and heat flows, it's called conduction. Metal conducts energy faster than wood. The metal felt colder because the heat energy was going out of our fingers faster, flowing faster, moving faster. That's thermal conductivity. Different materials have different thermal conductivity. Science needs a testable question. How do I catch heat? I'm cold. How do I stop or slow the heat flow? Let's look at a pizza oven to see heat flow. In a pizza oven, the heat energy comes from the fire. That light is radiation. The best example of radiation is light from the sun. The second way heat moves is convection. Imagine air rising inside the pizza oven. The best example of convection is a hot air balloon going up. Last, when things touch, heat energy flows with conduction. That's the pizza on the stone oven. Your fingers touching the hot pack or your fingers touching the cold metal. You need three words. Insulate, absorb, and reflect. Insulation slows heat energy's movement. A good example of insulation is a blanket on your bed. We will use bubble wrap to insulate heat energy. Next, the color black absorbs light heat energy. We don't wear black clothes in the summertime because we know black gets hot quickly. We will use black paper for heat energy absorption. Third, we will reflect light's 
heat radiation with tin foil. A clean mirror is the best example of a reflector. We have tin foil. And then we will use clear plastic wrap to stop heat energies, hot air convection. Two pieces of paper, you'll see why. Our tools will be scissors, glue, tape, and maybe a ruler and a pen too. And we'll need a pizza box. Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise. Now I will show you how to make the solar oven from a pizza box. Let's go. So first we'll cut a big rectangle in the pizza box. Open it up and the tin foil goes there. I tape it down on three sides on the back. Also, make it tight. It reflects sunlight in the box. And sunlight is radiation, and radiation is the heat energy for this solar oven. Second, we will put bubble wrap in the box. Heat energy always moves, always flows. And an insulator, like bubble wrap, slows the heat flow, or the conduction from the ground to the pizza box. We want to slow the conduction, slow the heat flow, and bubble wrap will slow that. Third, here in the center, you see the black paper. The black paper will absorb sunlight. Put bubble wrap on the sides for more insulation. I tape here so the bubble wrap doesn't come up. Now you can see here, fourth, the radiation will reflect into the box, and the black will get hot. Then the hot air will go up because of convection. We need to stop the convection. So we will put clear wrap on that big hole. It will stop the air. I like to make it clean and tight like this. Now, you can see my hands because this is maybe the hardest part. Go slow and make the plastic wrap. Do you see me going slowly? It's tricky. You can do it. Okay, it's tight now. The fifth part is folding the paper like this. I like to make a long fold and I put ten foil triangles on the paper. We want more light energy, more radiation inside the box. Light energy is our heat energy. Also, the paper will hold up the box. So put a little tape down on both sides and then tape the back. Now here I put one piece of tape you can put a lot of tape if you want. And that's it. You're finished. Do you see that? That is 35, 38 degrees inside the solar oven. 39 degrees, 40 degrees inside the solar oven. Okay. There, the solar oven is almost 40 degrees. 40 degrees! And here it's, what's that say? What's it say? Minus three degrees. Wow. That's amazing. I answered my question. Can you catch heat energy? Yes, you can. The solar oven caught a lot of heat energy. But there's a weakness. On a day like today, with the terrible smog, 
or a cloudy day with no sun, you really can't use a solar oven. Maybe I can cook with the solar oven in the summertime, but my design is a little weak. There are lots of different solar oven designs. Okay. So we learned 10 new ideas. Thermal conductivity is heat flow. And temperature goes up and down as heat energy moves towards equilibrium. We tested that in our first experiment, the wood block and the metal block. Next, we learned that heat energy moves in three ways. Radiation, like the sun, convection, like rising air, and conduction, like two things touching. And materials hold heat energy in three ways. There's absorption, insulation, and reflection. We tested all 10 ideas with our solar oven. I think you can do this experiment. I think you can do better than me. My name is Mr. Josh. I'm not your only teacher, just the most fun.